Hello everyone, this is Lucas and today we have a King Canada 6500 watt gasoline generator with electric start. And this thing is old and it has seen way better days and believe it or not, I've actually given it a wipe already. So this is what I'm kind of having to deal with as base material for the following videos. Um, this is a really powerful generator. To buy this new would cost you well, well over a grand. And, um, or buy new equivalent. You probably can't even buy these anymore. Um, so for me to get this going is, it's worth my time and my effort to, uh, put into this to get it going. Because I can pretty much do anything with this generator. As you can see, it has a DC output for 12 volts. I can do my 120 to 240 here. It does 120 plugs and it even takes the European styles. Um, it's got a nice little breaker here that seems to be okay. It seems to be working. Uh, it's like the only thing here that's working. The momentary push button is stuck. I might be able to unstuck it, but I'm probably just going to replace it. The battery is older than I am, maybe. Maybe not. I don't. Yeah, I'm 43, but I don't think it's 43 years old. Uh, the compression seems good. I can feel the resistance, so the compression seems right to me. There's no oil in it, none that I could find earlier. Let's see if I have it on level ground now. Nope. So this thing needs a lot of work. Um. So this is my first part of my video where I'm going to go through all of this. Uh, the gas tank, believe it or not, is okay inside. Uh, looks okay, not too much rust. I got a little bit of rust just right underneath the cap. Like, but the rest of the tank looks clean. So we got that positive going for us. I've sprayed things down with the WD-40 in hopes that I can loosen them off. Um, but my next step is probably going to be to attack a lot of these surfaces with my wire brush after I manage to pull all the screws for um, all the electrical panel here out. And uh, I'm going to pull them out, maybe replace this uh, momentary switch. And probably going to have to replace this uh, key switch up here for on and off as I won't have a key for it. Um, I might just drill it out and find a key that works that way. Uh, but a friend of mine says he also has uh, replacements for this. Uh, it may or may not fit. It might be just, uh, I might just put it on a toggle switch. So, um, yeah, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget our Patreon down below. And I'll be back with part two after I do some more work to this thing and show you what I did.